Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's video, we'll review the report suspicious activity options in Microsoft Enter ID. If you would like to follow along in today's video, you will need to be either a global administrator or an authentication policy administrator. To get started, you will need to access entra.microsoft.com and on the left hand service blade, where we see protection, we want to scroll down and select multi factor authentication. The reason I'm taking you to this service blade is to highlight three key areas which we deprecated by 1st of March 2025, starting with account lockout, which is the ability to temporarily lock accounts in the MFA service if there are too many denied authentication attempts in a row. However, this feature only applies to users who enter a PIN to authenticate, or alternatively are using the MFA server. The second area is block dash unblock users. This is where if those denials and that threshold is met within the account lockout section, users and identities will be restricted from using the MFA service um, completely. So this is where the administrator would come in and release that block from those particular user accounts. The third key area being fraud alert, where we can allow users within our organization to report fraud if they receive a two-step verification request but they didn't initiate. There are several settings, one being allow users to submit fraud alerts, which we can turn on, which will give the, the user the ability to enter a, a capture or some sort of phrase to report or submit the fraud or the attempted uh, fraud. The second option being automatically block users who report fraud set to on. But of course, there was very limited granularity when using the fraud alert service within the multi-factor authentication service blade because we couldn't integrate the use of identity protection with risk-based policies. So Microsoft introduced a new service uh, which is listed under the authentication method service blade and found under the settings cog. This is called report suspicious activity which allows users to report suspicious activities if they receive an authentication request that they did not initiate. So when an unknown and suspicious MFA prompt is received, users can report the fraud attempt by using the Authenticator app or through their phone. These alerts are integrated with identity protection for more comprehensive coverage and capability. And with that, users who do report an MFA prompt as suspicious are set to a high user risk within identity protection. And administrators have the ability uh, to create uh, risk-based policies within conditional access to limit access for these users who are who are flagged as high risk. Alternatively, enable self-service password reset, ensure SSPR for users to remediate problems on their own. So in terms of the options we've got on this service blade, uh, we've got state here, which by default is set to Microsoft Manage. And for this particular service, if the option is set to Microsoft Managed, the policy is in a disabled state. However, we do have the options to enable this from our perspective, or alternatively disable. Okay. If we leave it on enabled, we can scope this to all users in our organization or selected Microsoft 365 security groups. And once more, we also have the reporting code. However, just to highlight, we can only use the reporting code um, if we're using the um, uploaded message within the MFA service, i.e. Um, we, we create a voice message and we upload that to the Microsoft Enter ID service um, uh, integrated with the Authenticator app. Um, and then if we scroll down, we've got the second policy, which is System Preferred Multi-Factor Authentication which allows um, Microsoft um, upon user authentication to determine which is the strongest authentication method for the user to use. So if they've got the uh, FIDO2 token, for example, registered um, within their user account uh, details, and they've got SMS, then of course FIDO2 will then be um, the, the most secure way of authenticating. So, that, so they'll be presented that option rather than um, the SMS or phone call, whatever it is. However, th the user does have an option to select SMS if needs be, but it will be presented first. Okay, and once more, this, this, the state is set to Microsoft Managed, we can set that to disabled, we can set that to enabled, and we can also scope that to particular users in our organization as well as particular security groups. Uh, but once again, this was just a quick video to just um, discuss the, the legacy way 
of setting up suspicious activity policies and the new way. And of course, the timescales around that, which is 1st of March 2025, when those other free services will be deprecated and moved over to this um, single pane uh, policy. Thank you very much. Any questions, please do let me know.